This morning, the fight over abortion not going anywhere as we are less than two months to go until the midterm election and that issue back in the spotlight on Capitol Hill with a new bill in Congress that could impose a nationwide abortion ban after 15 weeks. Okay, so obviously there's a lot of discussion happening. Cleo Green is with us on how lawmakers are reacting. Cleo Graham is really even struggling to get support in his own party. Yeah, and this is a top talker on social media. Graham tweeting a lot of messages yesterday, starting with the link uh, to YouTube for that press conference yesterday to introduce the Protecting Pain Capable Unborn Children from Late Term Abortions Act. As I said, really igniting a conversation on social media. This tweet here getting a lot of eyes from Representative Eric Swalwell saying, hey, it's official. Republicans want a national abortion ban. It was never about state rights. It's about controlling women and mandating pregnancies. Uh, back to uh, Senator Graham here. A lot of people saying this is reigniting the abortion debate. There's a narrative forming in America that the Republican Party and the pro-life movement is on the run. No, 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 no. We're going nowhere. We welcome the debate. So Graham's bill calls for the federal ban of abortion after 15 weeks, providing rare exceptions, including rape, incest, and to save the mother's life. The bill needs 60 votes in the Senate to advance with Democrats in the majority. The Dems are calling this bill extreme, hoping it will motivate voter turnout in November, as it did for last month's referendum in Kansas. That is why you saw uh, the voters of Kansas turn out in droves, 500,000 of them. I think most of the members of my conference prefer that this be dealt with at the state level. All right, so at the state level, just yesterday, West Virginia here, West Virginia lawmakers okaying the abortion ban with a few exceptions. Also, last week in Michigan, they voted on the amendment protecting constitutional rights on the abortion to put that on the ballot. Here in Texas, that's just not going to happen. I'll send it back to you.